Hello, this is Janet from Servants for His Glory 44. I come in the name of Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach. This is an intercession SOS. I believe the Spirit will draw you if you're meant to pray along. I also want to give the disclaimer that I will be praying through the utterance of the Holy Ghost at select times, and the verses that the Father has given in support of this are found in Romans chapter 8, verse 26 or 27. It says, Likewise, the Spirit helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should praise we ought, but the Spirit maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. So I'm so grateful for this opportunity before our Father Abba to be able to pray and intercede on behalf of whatever the Lord will prompt in this time of intercession. And this is the first day of the month of Elul in Hebrew. I'm very um, excited to enter into this new month. And this is a time of self-examination before the Lord. So I want to begin with Psalm 51. Heavenly Father, thank you for this time. I'm very grateful for this opportunity to intercede on behalf of whatever your will is. I ask you, Holy Spirit, to increase and that I would decrease, that you would have your way, Holy Spirit, and I just yield to you. I thank you for the work in which you do, Holy Spirit. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those that have trespassed against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, in the name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. Psalm 51 Have mercy upon me, O Yah. According to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O Yah, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O Yah, thou God of my salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, Yah, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desireth not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delighteth not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of Yah are a broken spirit, and a broken and a contrite heart. O God, Yah, thou will not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness. With burnt offering and whole burnt offering, then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. But I thank you, Father, that you, you pro provided a sacrifice for us, which was your Son, your only begotten Son. And I thank you, Messiah, for pouring out all that you are for us so that we could be redeemed and so I thank you for this time and I give you all the glory and I give you all the praise 
Yes, Father, I ask you to search us and know us. Put your truth in our inner parts. Yes. And in the hidden part, make us to know wisdom. Search us. Bring that healthy correction and conviction where it is needed, but help us not to submit to condemnation and shame. Yes, Father, help us. Teach us how to discern the difference between shame and condemnation and between healthy correction and conviction from the Holy Spirit. Yes, help us. Holy Spirit, I ask that you would pray for us right now that we would have an increase, have an increase in discernment and that we would resist falling into the trap of condemnation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Abba, I acknowledge Proverbs chapter 8. It says, Doth not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice? She standeth in the top of high places, by the way in the places of the paths. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things. And the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing froward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understandeth, and right to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord, Yah, is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding, I have strength. Be by me kings reign and princes decree justice. By me princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I lead in the ways of righteousness in the midst of the paths of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasures. The Lord, Yah, has possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning or ever the earth was. When there was no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. Whilst yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depths, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth, then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, 
rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth. In my delights were the sons of men. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. Yah, but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All that hate me love death. Father, Yah, I acknowledge these words, and I claim your promises in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach, by the power of the blood of the Lamb, by the power of the finished work of the cross, by the power of the resurrection of Yehoshua HaMashiach, by the power of the Logos word, and by the words of my testimony, on behalf of all the saints, from the four corners, the north, the south, the east, the west, and every tribe and kindred nation and tongue. And Father, I ask for wisdom. Yes, I ask for wisdom in these times. Yes, O oh Lord, wisdom. Holy Spirit, I ask you to pray that the saints would receive increase in wisdom and also prudence. Yes, that the fruit of prudence would be evident in our lives, of being very prudent for the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. This verse is really sticking out to me. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 34. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. Heavenly Father, prepare us. Yes, prepare us, help us, mold within us the desire to listen more. Yes, to listen more to what you have to speak to us. Attune our spiritual ears to hear you. Help us to wait and watch. Yes, to wait and to watch and strengthen us in the midst of waiting. Yes, and help us to look diligently to you for what it is that you desire for us to hear and what you desire for us to do in this hour, in this moment, in this day, in this week. Holy Spirit, I ask you to pray for this on behalf of all of us, on behalf of the saints throughout every nation, tribe, kindred, and tongue throughout the four corners of the earth, the north, the south, the east, the west. Nerevera so led a variante, ara sura variante. Lord ever and daughter a siete, niete, led ever and daughter a sede variete. Nerevera sura led and better ever daughter a sura variete. A led ever and daughter a si, niete, led ever and better a so. Derevera so led and better a siente. Father, yeah, I acknowledge your word in Isaiah chapter forty five, verses six through nineteen. It says that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, Yah, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yah, do all these things. Drop down, ye heavens, from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open and let them bring forth salvation and let righteousness spring up together i the lord have created it woe unto him that striveth with his maker 
Let the potsherd strive with the potsherds of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it, What maketh thou, or thy work? He hath no hands. Woe unto him that saith unto his father, What begetteth thou, or to the woman, What hath thou brought forth? Thus saith the Lord, the Holy One of Israel and his Maker, Ask me of things to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands command ye me command ye me i have made the earth and created man upon it i even my hands have stretched out the heavens and all their hosts have i commanded i have raised him up in righteousness and i will direct all his ways he shall build my city and he shall let go my captives not for price nor reward saith the lord of hosts Thus saith the Lord, Yah, the labor of Egypt and merchandise of Ethiopia and of the Sabians, men of stature, shall come over unto thee, and they shall be thine, they shall come after thee, in chains that they shall come over, and they shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely Yah is in thee, and there is none else, there is no God. Verily thou art a God that hideth thyself, O Yah of Israel, the Savior. They shall be ashamed and also confounded all them that go to confusion together that are makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord, Yah, with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, or I'm sorry, nor confounded world without end. For thus saith the Lord, Yah, that created the heavens, Yah himself that formed the earth, and made it, he hath established it, he created it not in vain, he formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. I have not unto the seed of Jacob, seeking me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge your words. Yes, Father, help us to have a holy reverence for you, O Lord. Help us to have a holy reverence to you, to be in all of who you are, to not strive with you, but to accept your will for our lives, to lay down our lives as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service, and to take up our cross and to follow you, and to submit, yes, to submit all of our steps to you, Father, not to take it lightly, the blessings that you have bestowed to us, not to complain and murmur, but to uh, look to you, to listen, to hear you, to examine ourselves before you, Lord. Yes, help us to examine ourselves before you because you are just, because you are good. Yes, you are good. Even like this verse says right here in Isaiah 45, verse 21 through 22, it says, Tell ye and bring them near, yea, let them take counsel together. Who hath declared this from ancient time? Who hath told it from that time? Have not I the Lord? And there is no God else beside me, a just God and a Savior. There is none beside me. Look unto me and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, yes, there is none else. Father, you are so holy and beautiful and amazing. How amazing that you would choose us you would choose us to be a part of your kingdom and not only that but you would pour out your love upon us you pour out your spirit upon us just in all of who you are father help us never get to a place where we don't recognize the blessings that you have bestowed to us even in challenging times we could have been born in any time of history, but we've been born for such a time as this. 
and you give us opportunity, sometimes we're not able to see it because we can be absorbed in our own circumstances. But if we were to take a walk outside or if we were to get into a car and go to a place, we, we would recognize that there's people in need all around us. It's, there's always an opportunity to serve you and to take up our cross and follow you. There's always an opportunity to help out our neighbor. There's always someone in need. We can even get on the internet. You've made it so easy for us. We can get on the internet and minister to somebody. We can share the gospel in a chat room or um, in a comment section. We can stay in bed in our jammies and pray for our neighbor, pray for our brother, pray for our sister. That's how easy you've made it. If we're in covenant with you, then you've made it so easy. And if we're not in covenant with you, all we have to do is cry out to you and ask you to be Lord and Savior of our lives, to make that declaration, that profession of faith, and then take those steps in sincerity and to, to move out in action. And you've given us so many opportunities to continue to do those things to take up our cross and to follow you and to continue to pursue your um, pursue you in spirit and in truth pursue your covenant and to stay in that covenant so I thank you for those opportunities and I thank you for this new month of Elul I thank you for the new things that you're going to bring forth in this month I thank you that this is a time where we can pursue intimacy on a new level, and I'm excited for that, Father. I'm truly excited to pursue you in a new level of intimacy. I never want to get to the place where I think that I have received everything that I need, because, Father, I need you more and more each day. I recognize that I can't do any of this in my own strength, in my own understanding. But I'm so grateful that you're willing to walk this journey out with me, that I'm never alone, that none of us are never alone. We're not in this by ourselves. And I'm thankful that you're bringing brothers and sisters together in unity in different ways and small groupings. And um, I just see your hand moving and I'm really touched, Father. I just am so touched by your love. I'm touched by the testimonies that I hear of how you are. Um, you're just, you're doing something new in the lives of your people. Those that have been ostracized, those that have been considered outcasts, um, those that have been struggling, um, I just am very excited in anticipation, Father, for what you're going to do. There's been so many beautiful testimonies that I've been able to witness this year, Father, in those that you have sent from this channel and, and those that you have allowed me to encounter um, on the highways and hedges. And I want to testify and I want to just come to you father in remembrance of the amazing things that you've done even if it's just a moment that I have encountered one of your children and seen something change within them a light come on and then other things that you've done that you've allowed me to be a part of and now you're allowing servants like Amanda to be a part of and we get to be a part of it and others that you're bringing forth into this ministry uh, in different ways. Uh, the healings that have come forth, the deliverances that have come forth, the freedom that have come forth. Uh, there's just no words, Father. There's no words for the beauty of all that uh, you have brought forth 
And I am thinking of a special sister right now that uh, you're doing a new thing in her life. And I want to just take a moment, Father, and just tell you how grateful I am. Because, Father, I, I see uh, something really beautiful springing forth that is far above what I can comprehend right now. But I am in anticipation for uh, so many amazing things taking place in her life. And I, uh, I just want to honor you in that. I didn't think that this intercession would go this way, but I just am so grateful, Father. I just feel such a peace and a love coming from you. Uh, not just for me, but for your people all over this earth. And I'm just very thankful to be one of your many ambassadors in this hour. For as long as you give me an opportunity to do so, I'm very grateful, Father. So I thank you for what you shall continue to do. I thank you that you are just, you are holy, that you're making all things new. Father, as you have been teaching me to be reminded that you are an ever-present help that you're right here with me right now. Yes, you are right here with me. You're right here with us. That we don't have to wait until tonight. We don't have to wait till tomorrow. We don't have to wait till next week. We don't have to wait to an escape. You're here with us right now. And we can have the mountaintop experience right now. Even if we're going through a trial, a storm, adversity, or suffering, we could still have access to you. All we have to do is ask. We ask you to come close to us. We repent of our sins. We ask you to help us be ushered into your presence. Heavenly Fathers, I pray for your people right now. I ask that you would lead them into greater levels of intimacy. Yes, this month, that you will lead them into greater levels of intimacy. That they would receive from you in a new and an ex unexpected way. You're so beautiful, Abba. So absolutely beautiful. And as this verse speaks, it says, Drop down, ye heavens, from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open, and let them bring forth salvation. And let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. Thank you, Father, for all that you have created and for all that you have imparted to us to be able to appreciate and to experience for as long as we can. Thank you that your mercies are new every morning. Greet us your faithfulness. Help us to appreciate the beauty of who you are. Help us to appreciate the beauty of your creation. Thank you, Father, for the testimonies that you have, you're continuing to bring forth, how you redeem and restore and make new. You heal and deliver, that we don't have to expect the same old, a same old, but that we can come to you being expectant of beautiful, wonderful things. Your word, it says that eyes not seen, nor ear heard, nor entered into the heart of man the things that you have prepared for those that love you. And I believe with all of my heart that you have many beautiful things for your obedient children. And I'm excited for that. I rejoice with those that are rejoicing. And I weep with those that weep and those that are suffering. And Father, I lift up the poor needy to you those that have no one to intercede on their behalf, I intercede for them right now. Those that feel alone, those that feel broken, those that are suffering, those that are hurting, those that they don't have an advocate for them, those that are vulnerable. 
Father, I lift them up to you right now and ask you to help them. Send your angels to them. Send your people to them. Put your people across their path to reach them. The poor, the, the widows, the orphans, the outcasts, the vulnerable, the needy, those in nursing homes. Father, let no one be by themselves. Let someone reach out to them and meet their needs. And if they have no one and they're all by themselves, send a divine encounter of your angels or a dream or vision, something that would give them hope today. We love you, Lord. There's, no, there's nothing in this world that can compare to all that you are. I thank you for allowing us to receive your love. Increase within us. Holy Spirit, I ask you to pray for all these things. Father, I ask you to restore what has been lost. Bring restoration. Bring restoration. You know what we all have need of. You know those things that are in our hearts that we're crying out to you about. Father, you know the cry of my heart and what I'm thinking of right now. And so I ask you to meet those needs, Father. Meet those needs. So we just thank you for this time. You're so beautiful. You're faithful and true. Faithful and true are you. Holy Spirit, now I ask you to pray that angels on assignment would be released, that delays and hindrances and blockages would be uprooted and cast into the fire, and that everything that's been prayed and spoken, that it will be transferred from the realm of the Spirit into the natural realm favorably. On behalf of those listening to the sound of my voice and on behalf of every single saint that their name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life all over this earth from the four corners, the north, the south, the east, the west, and every tribe and kindred and tongue and nation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Yahushua. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Yah, Yahuwah, Yah, Elohim. Yahushua, Yahweh, Adonai, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ancient of Days, thank you. Thank you, Yahweh. Yahushua's name, I pray all these things, amen.